All right, so welcome back. And once you understand the sample code provided by the Flutter SDK, let's actually start working on a little bit new thing here, right? So this app right now only has one screen. So what if I actually add another screen just by reusing some of the code so that you can better understand how this code works, which you know class is for what kind of purpose, right? So to kind of review recap, okay, main method right here, top level class for the app, and then your class for your page, a state class for the same page, right? So if you understand this correctly, if you want to create a new um, page or new screen for your app, right? So you really need to do the kind of the same thing for this one and also for this one, all right? Because this part here is specifically for your uh, uh, page, for the one you're seeing here. And then this app class and the main method, you do not need that for every single screen because this is the entrance for the app. You just need one main method, just like your Java application, you can only run one main method. This app class is only for a global app same configuration. So you don't need that for every single page, right? So if you ever want to create a new screen, just do another page class, another state class. All right, so let's try that. Now this time I'm gonna to try to add the second screen and I'm gonna put that second screen into a new file. So I'm gonna to go to this library folder here. Okay, I'm gonna start to create a new Dart file. I'm gonna right click and then create a new. Make sure you choose Dart file, okay? Don't choose the Java file, don't choose anything else. Let's choose the Dart file. As I put a name, I'm gonna call it, uh, I'll call it next page. All right, something like this. All right, so go to the next page, empty. All right, so you might lose, okay, how should I write the next screen? All right, so copy the code. All right, in the beginning, always use this framework code here to help you to build things, okay, because it's impossible for you to write every single thing. You won't know which method to overwrite. You won't know what parameters there are. Uh, you can find the documentation, but that's not gonna work. Okay, and you also, you can't remember all these attributes of everything. Okay, so just forget about it. Now, to get things started, let's just copy the code over to make it work for a new screen. All right, because if you understand the framework, the framework do not change. Okay, it always stay to the same structure. You just need to fill in the different properties and give different kind of UI components. All right, so I'm gonna go here and um, just copy this one here. This is the class. You also need this class here, the two of the classes for another screen. So let's do this. Control C and then come back here. I'm gonna do Control V. All right, so I got all my code into the second screen here. Now, the moment you, you put your code here, obviously the same code that works here, uh, it's a lot of a red lines here doesn't work. Now, if you see this one here, key and state. Now, if you have some experience, you, it's very easy to find out that, well, this is the class you're inheriting, but we don't recognize this one. And the reason you don't recognize that one is most likely because you're not importing, you're not defining or declaring that class, right? So that's why you actually need to bring this import statement back there, right? So for this one here, you need to add the import statement. All right, so the easiest way is simply just copy this one over because I mentioned every single class, you will need to use this material.dart package. I'll just copy it over for now. And then immediately you see the errors are gone, right? So that's your second screen. Um, but this is not gonna work because um, right now this file already has one screen and we're just copying exactly the same code. And then this one here is named as my home page and then my home page state. And where the new screen here is called the same name, all right, my homepage and my homepage state. You don't want to have the same class name across different files. It's gonna cause a lot of confusion, right? So I'm gonna change this one, okay? I'm gonna change this one into my second page. All right, I'm gonna change the class name. Now, the moment you change this one, as you can see, it shows a lot of errors. Well, it's very expected because this is the constructor. The constructor name should be the same as the class name. So I'm gonna update this one name right here. And then this one here also changed because this one is still trying to return my home page state. So we actually also need to change this um, name right here. So I'm gonna call it my 
second page state, right? Because this is for the second page. And then with that, I need to basically also change this one. It's not my home page. It's this one, it's called my second page. All right. And then this one here, we'll just you know use the same name. I'm gonna return my second page state. This is my second page state. All right. So that's how you can build and rename everything for the second one. So this way, this code, even though the code right now is the same, but you know it's totally independent uh, screen um, from the first one here. All right. And then also to differentiate. Okay, let's actually make some changes. Like uh, here, we are gonna change something here, right? So we're gonna do the app logo here. I'm gonna show this is screen number two. All right. So my demo app screen number two right because right now this is just the first app okay first screen so let me actually go back here to change it so i'm going to change this one into app logo screen number one and this one also screen number one okay so let me run the app again all right so you can see this one got changed right this one got changed and then this is for the first screen and then we create a second one. All right. The question now is how do we bring the second one to uh, you know to our, to our application? All right. So obviously there are different ways to do it. Now let me show you a simple way. Now if you remember, go back to this uh, main .dar file where our entrance is. You know, enter this my app class. All right. So there is something called a uh, home attribute. Now I already told you this home attribute is to specify what is the first screen you want to open now right now in this application i got a two screens i got one defined here called my home page i also have another one here defined called my second page right so right now i'm using my home page so i can actually change it to my second page all right and once you put this one here it's error well you want to make sure that you have this page defined correctly it looks like we do um, but then the reason this one is showing error again is because we can't find it. That means you have to import it, right? So whenever you want to import a new class from different Dart file, you actually have to explicitly define it. So I go to the top right here, import. I'm going to use the auto completion. So I'm going to import this next page, the Dart. Okay, so this is the one that we have defined in our um, our project, right? So I'm gonna just do the first one. Once I import this one, and you can see this error is gone, and you can do the my second page right here. Okay, so I'm gonna reload my app. As you can see, this time it shows page number two, screen number two, and then this one is actually using the second screen. So now I'm gonna make more changes, right? So for example, I'm gonna do uh. I would, I would just you know add uh, uh, something else i will just add another text here just to make sure that this is the second one so login first please all right and then go back to refresh it all right so you got the second screen okay so this is the second screen and then we're not really using this screen anymore this is the first screen all right so that's how you can create the second screen here all right so with that, I want you to kind of uh, go back here to really um, understand this whole process. And then you should actually also create the third one, the fourth one, using exactly the same approach. All right, to help you a little bit, um, uh, you know, to speed up the development, I would recommend, for, for example, once you read some of the comments, this one here, I, let's actually delete it, okay? Because um, it's kind of a make your code too um, hard to read. So I'm gonna delete this, this part as well so that we can clearly see what we need to build for each screen. All right, so this one is pretty good comments you should read, but um, to help you to understand the code better, so I'm gonna just comment it out, delete them. All right, so that's it, just leave those ones. All right, so this comment, you can't delete it because these are generated by Dart, by the IDE. So as you can see, to make a screen, it's really a short piece of code. All right, so just two classes, one class called page, one class called page state. They both extend some kind of parent class. This first class doesn't do much. The second class does all the UI stuff.
all right so if you ever want to make the third one okay let's do the third one i can just create another file here dart file i'll do you know next page i will do the um we should get a, a better name not call the next we'll just call it you know um another okay it's a very bad name but then just actually specify another page or right, dart file and then i'm gonna put basically let's do the copy the hosting over i'm gonna copy the hosting and then don't forget to change the number the name here my third page okay in reality you shouldn't use the first second third it's a very bad name you should actually use something more meaningful okay and then update the constructor name and then update this uh, state name here so that you can actually do this one and that one and this one here also should be updated third page all right got a third one and i'm going to update this one to the three number three number three all of this all right so you got a third page and then if you ever want to go to the third page well let's actually change this one here called my third page right and then it's not recognizing because you need to import it another page all right and then let's rerun the app and then we got the third page showed up here all right so these are all different pages you can create all right so it's pretty simple so with this you should be able to actually create multiple pages for your project and uh, next lesson we'll talk about how we um, navigate through different pages um, but then from here i really highly recommend that you keep one simple version of the page right here so that whenever you start to create a new page you can actually use the same template all right uh, most of the pages will follow exactly the same style because flutter provides this very nice um, structure for you to follow and if you're following that it will make your development much easier